What's up guys, it's Trevor back with another video and geez louise, today was one of the longest days I've had in dental school. Woke up, started class 7.30, um, had lecture, lab, lunch, um, anatomy, lecture, and anatomy lab. In anatomy lab, this was actually kind of cool, we actually disarticulated our cadaver's head. It's wild. Pretty gross, I won't go into the details, but it was something I've never done before, probably will never do again. So that was the highlight of the day, but after anatomy, I had to go drill for two hours, then I went to the gym for about an hour, got home, ate dinner, and hung out with my girlfriend for a little bit, and now I have to study again. I have a big practical, big drilling practical coming up on Thursday, and then I have a big test Monday, and I have another drilling practical on Tuesday. So this week is slammed. All I'm going to do, wake up, do school, practice drilling, get lecture stuff in, eat, sleep, maybe go to the gym, and that's going to be life 24 hours a day. Here we go. All right, guys, heading into drill, and I just wanted to show you the weather right now. It is incredible. I think it's about 80 degrees in the middle of February in Ohio. Are you kidding me? One of the best days ever. I'm going to practice crown, uh, crown prep. Hopefully it goes well. Practice in two days. What's up? It's already Wednesday, I can't believe it. The week is flying by. The practical is tomorrow. Luckily, I was able to have some time to drill earlier today, so I did a practice uh, crown prep and it went really well, which was very needed because the tooth I did yesterday was crap. Honestly, it would have barely passed there. I got done and took it out of the mouth, looked at it closely, it was rough everywhere. My anatomy was just garbage. Anyways, I was not happy, it kind of stressed me out, but the tooth I did today got my confidence back, so let's see if we can reproduce it on the tooth, on the test tooth tomorrow. The rest of tonight is going to be spent studying for the test I have on Monday. It's for my occlusion class, so how your teeth bite together so we can make crowns and bridges and everything like that. I'm gonna be, hopefully, um, hopefully I can spend about two hours doing that. I'm going to be Going, reading through the manual, just doing some active reading, highlighting everything that I can so hopefully it can stick in my brain. And when I'm taking a test, I literally, active reading helps me a ton. I can actually picture the page where I highlighted um, a certain term in pink or in yellow. I don't know how, I don't know if that happens for you guys, but when I highlight and actually take notes while I'm reading uh, and I'm not just mindlessly reading a paragraph i think it helps me a ton what do you guys think let me know down in the comments what you guys do in your study sessions to help you get the most out of it take it easy drilling practical is done and I'm not too sure how it went. There's a couple factors that if you don't reduce the tooth enough, so if you don't make the tooth small enough in the, like on the top, on the occlusal surface, it's an automatic fail. Or if you don't shave off enough around the edges, it's an automatic fail. And I know I was really close on some of them because I wanted to get it just perfect. But if that just perfect is, you know, a 0 0.01, millimeter not reduced enough it's an automatic fail so i'm hoping keeping my fingers crossed that i didn't do that in any areas because i really don't want to remediate that anyways it's done i think i'll get my grade next week probably on tuesday but i am in for a day of relaxation and i'm going to go to the gym hopefully things will go well i'm looking to max out and deadlift i want to get um at least 390, 395 if possible. 400 could be in the works, but I might have to wait a couple months for that one. Anyways, we're gonna go to the gym, do some work, come back, and relax the night away. Hold on, hold on. All 
All right guys, just got back from the gym and it was phenomenal. I maxed out on deadlifts. I thought I was going for a max of about 390, 395, maybe 400, but I pulled 400 and it felt phenomenal. So I went up to 425 actually, and I didn't know if I was gonna get it. That's a huge jump, probably shouldn't have done that, but I crushed it and that's a lifetime PR for me. So I'm so pumped about that. Hopefully I can keep it going, but my back is going to be so sore the next couple of days. So all the drilling that I have to do to get ready for the practical on Tuesday might be a little bit painful, but it was totally worth it. Lifetime PR. I'm pumped. So it's Saturday already. This week has flown by. Studying for tests, getting ready for practicals has just made the days just fly by like that. And now I'm going to head into lab to get some extra practice in before the next drilling practical, which is on Tuesday. So I think today I'm going to try to drill two teeth, uh, one maxillary, one mandibular, and then I'm going to fill at least four. So that's putting in the amalgam and stamping it down, putting more amalgam in, stamping it down, and then carving it to bring back the anatomy of the tooth. So when the person, the patient bites down, everything is a-okay and it feels normal. So Wish me luck. I'll try to take you guys along for the ride in the lab with that, and I will see you in there. Invites in the mail. Yeah. We'll see coming tomorrow. <laughs> Are you sure they're Yeah, because it was like. Which building did you live in? Eight. I live in eight. Oh, oh yes. All right guys, I'm gonna end the video here, but before I go, I wanted to talk a little bit about the video, some of the videos I have coming up. We have real, two really cool ones. One of them, a dental company sent me a product to review for them, and I think it's really awesome. So be on lookout for that. And I really want to put out a full-on fitness video. I wanna to talk to you guys about how I relax from school, use that gym time as my outlet, get all my stress out, and then that helps me be so much more productive when I'm studying after class. So stay tuned for those, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.